Viva 8. What were Pericles' accomplishments? Despite his many failings, notably the destruction of Athens, his tyrannical tendencies, and ill-planned military policies, Pericles utterly transformed Athens, making it into the most important and powerful of all the Greek city-states. His one goal was always to strengthen Athens. He did this through, first, his political reforms that empowered the democratic tendencies of Athenian politics. Secondly, his cultural improvements across a wide spectrum, spectrum of disciplines. And thirdly, his military efforts designed to expand Athenian imperial power and diminish the threat of Spartan expansionism. So my first point is that Pericles brought about political reforms, implementing a radical form of democracy. He brought about the golden age of Athens as well as the city's ultimate downfall. But first, we'll look at who he was. He was, Pericles was from a noble family he was widely read as a youth and was a student of philosophy. He was a fierce proponent of democracy, and he rose to control of the Democratic Party after the former leader was killed. And he got the opposing party leader of the conservatives, conservatives ostracized from Athens by accusing him of aiding Sparta. Thus, he was left in as mostly the most powerful person in Athens. Pericles was annoyed that only the rich participated in politics. He thought that this was because the poor people were just too poor and they didn't have enough spare time to invest in politics. So he thought that at the moment they didn't really have a true and pure form of democracy because only the rich could participate. So he implemented radical democracy by paying the lower class citizens to participate in public affairs. He approved payment for the previously unpaid role of jury duty and for the roles of, sail of soldiers, sailors, and administrators. Some people were of the opinion that Pericles was bribing the masses in return for political support. But whatever the case, as Milan Olenek states, that was really bad, <laughs> quote, Pericles profoundly deepened the democratic character of the Athenian constitution, unquote. Second point is that Pericles implemented cultural improvements across a wide spectrum of, dis of disciplines and brought Athens to a great state of grandeur and wealth in its golden age. After the Greco-Persian Wars, the Greek city-states had banded together and to share a military. However, many of the smaller city-states couldn't afford to send most of their young men to be trained in combat, each like a certain amount of men each year that they would send. So they preferred to send money and riches to Athens in support of their military, and that way Athens could just use their military to defend them. So thus, there was a great stash of money and gold treasured in the, um, stocked in the treasury of Delos. Thus, the Athenians found themselves a great source of wealth, which Pericles used to make Athens the most rich and powerful city-state. During the age of Pericles, Athens became the center of education, art, culture, and democracy. Some of Pericles' cultural additions were the building of the Parthenon, and as mentioned before, the, the development of democracy and its freedoms as we know them today. Many great Athenian figures figures influenced the world during this time. We can see Hippocrates pra pra practiced medicine during this time. He was the man who inspired the Hippocratic Oath. 
There was Herodotus, who was the father of modern history. He traveled and wrote during this time. Many great artists and sculptors also lived during this time. There was Phidias, who created the statue of Zeus at Olympia, which was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Many thinkers and philosophers lived also in the age of Pericles. For instance, Anaxor Anaxagoras, who is said to have influenced Pericles in his public demeanor. He was a pre-Socratic natural philosopher and scientist. There was a lot of controversy around his beliefs, especially the statements where Anaxagoras said, quote, everything has a natural explanation. The moon is not a god, but a great rock, and the sun a hot rock, unquote. The third point is about Pericles' military efforts against the Spartans, and they allowed Athens to, be to become the most powerful city-state. The First Peloponnesian War was a power struggle between Athens and Sparta and the subsequent city-states who took sides. As Edith Hamilton states, quote, the Athenians and the Spartans fought, fought for one reason only, because they were powerful and therefore were compelled to seek more power, unquote. Pericles was aware of the Spartan aversion to the expanse of the Athenian Empire, so he engaged all of the whole Athenian population to build a wall surrounding the city of Athens. He constructed two long, he also constructed two long walls leading from the city of Athens down to the port because he knew how important it would be during an invasion to always have access to the sea. This shows how eminently they viewed the threat of a Spartan invasion and how the Athenians required aspects of survival to be incorporated into the into their expansion strategy. Pericles was willing to do anything to resist his enemies and to hand his power down to posterity. However, Pericles died during the Second Peloponnesian War when a plague struck Athens and was allowed to run rampant and close inside the city's great walls. Therefore, Pericles was initially responsible for his own downfall. In conclusion, despite his many failings and the ultimate downfall of Athens, soon after his death, Pericles utterly transformed Athens into the most important and powerful city-state, first by his political reforms when he implemented radical democracy, secondly by his many cultural improvements across a wide spectrum of disciplines, and thirdly by his military efforts which were designed to expand Athenian imperial power. Thank you.